Okay, we're pining for the fields in Norway, taking off from Seoul Airport, runway 29, flying up over Stavanger, and then along to Magnificent Fields. So we've been cleared for takeoff, it's about 9 something in the morning. Nice spring day. And so runway 29 takes us out over the ocean. And then I will do a uh, right hand turn to pick up the track. Let's look on that. While we're getting onto the runway. That's where we are. There's the flight plan. Nice. I'll probably do a left turn, I think, and come back over the uh, runway. Because it's only about 10 miles to uh, the town, and it'd be nice to uh, start off on track. Okay, let's do a run up. Temperatures and pressures are good. We've got flaps one. Put a little bit of back trim in and wheel brakes off. It's 90 knots, 100, rotating. Gear up, laps up, a bit of over rotation there. Nice looking airport this one too. So here we are, right on the coast, going through 300 feet. Mike into your golf copy, 250 knots, and let's throttle back. Do a left turn, come back over the airport, at about 1500 feet. It's 1300 feet now. Okay. So it's actually on water to the north, it's runway 36 and to the west. So uh, let's turn right to get onto track. And I'm going to go to the recon cam. Camera number one, there we go. Still managed to get left of track. Let's check the map. Anyway, we'll come. We'll keep coming right, I'll just change that uh, channel. Okay, Doc. Um, I'll actually stay at 1100 feet for the moment so we can see some of the nice features. Lots of churches here, cathedrals. Still a little bit to the left. Let's check the map. Mike India Golf copy. Solar Tower zero, zero, 007 frequency change. Okay, let's look left. So there we go, the Solar Harbour. I'll have a bit of a look around when we come back, I think. It's quite a long flight, about 100 miles. So let's just get on track. There we go. Zoom out a bit. Eh? Right. So we're going to be over water 
for a lot of this flight. So 1.1 is uh, I'm going to head for a city of called Dao in Chinese, but maybe they say Tao, T-A-O, up here. Let's just jump back to the helmet cam for a minute. See the city back there. Coming to the west. North is that away. Sun can get quite glary up here. I have no just it's a nice looking island. Check my track again. I think I'm pretty good. Yep, pretty much on track. I should go back to recon cam number one. This, and here's the city of Dao. And as we turn up onto the field, it's pretty easy. So yeah, it's uh, about eight waypoints in this flight, but as usual, it's a very easy flight to follow by eye. So we take off about heading 06 from the airport, get to the town of Dow, which we just passed over, follow this uh, field now for about 20, 30 miles, I think, 25 miles, yep. So let's crank it up because it's quite a long flight. Let's check out the sights. And I did make a note in the briefing notes that uh, just to be aware that the fields are above sea level. For example, we're at 600 feet now, but so you're only 300 feet above the water. Excellent. So if you look at the map, which I might in a moment would be slightly right of track, but that's okay. Got feet dry again. Quite bumpy here. Very bumpy. Here we go. Oh, okay, right. Just looking at my notes, uh, this is where the field proper starts. Right here. Cool. Looks great with the uh, the shadows coming from the right. That's the temperature here. Be quite cool, I think. 14.5 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go feature eye again. But you can clearly see which way to go. Just stay in the valley here. The elevation rises 1100 feet at the moment. So now we're going to come up to waypoint 2, at which point we go pretty much due east for about 10 miles and we'll find a lake. The 
at which point we pretty much head south to look for the second field. It's a nice tight valley. And I believe from memory at this waypoint two, which is coming up there, is a couple of lakes. Yep, here they are. Pretty interesting actually. Oh, look at the power lights. Awesome. And watch where you're going to. Right. So coming right, which is past waypoint two. Slow up a little bit. And look for this lake. Let's check the map. Okay, just past waypoint two. So as you can see, we you can see at waypoint three. Just zoom in a bit. There's this long lake, which we kind of follow down to the south. It's going slightly west again. But waypoint four should bring us back into the uh, waypoint five valley. Waypoint six for your proper. Let's keep flying the aircraft. Just looking north. Wonderful looking terrain already. South. Back to the west. Okay, let's go helmet camp. Climb a little bit. See if we can spot this lake. Lots of waterways up here. But we're looking for one particularly large one. Check the map. Yep, so waypoint three you can see uh, we keep heading east here. Go okay, back to we'll see on the right. You can see the lake starts to go to the south, and that's waypoint three. There we go, right, right on target. So, pretty much follow this lake now for several miles. Six or seven miles, I think. Quite uh, stark terrain up here. Not many trees. Check on the map. So waypoint six is truly into the uh, field. Waypoint five is a valley before the field. Waypoint four still following the lake. Spectacular drop off here actually. This waypoint four. Yeah, I thought it was, it's a dam. Yep. Here we go, waypoint four. Huge dam. Coming right to waypoint five, which will be entering a valley. I can see it ahead of us now. Let's go to the recon camp. Follow that to the final field. So 
I haven't flown this route in a while. Um, I'll be doing it later today with the uh, Flying Singer. So this this is really helping me get my head back in the game. As with most of these routes, the second time around you, you don't even need to look at the map. You look for a dam, you look for a valley, look for a town, and uh, it's all good. So we're in this valley now for about five or six miles I think. 5.8 miles. It's a nice tight valley. A few twists and turns to it. Quite a lot of turbulence too. Yeah we should there we go, we can see the field there. 1.6 and it's a straight line for about 10 miles along this field Lisbon is the name, or Lusabon they probably say name of this town here, power station on the right is it a boat there? yep it is Awesome. People of a certain age will uh, recognise the pop culture reference in the title of this mission, Pining for the Fjords, referring to famous uh, Monty Python skit from the 1970s regarding the Norwegian Blue, I think it was, parrot. Not being dead. It's just pining for the fields. It's the famous line. Check this out. Thanks to uh, power line improvement from Mamu, we're going to fly under these uh, lines that go right across the field. Oh wow! Actually, second thoughts. <laughs> we'll go over them. Awesome. And there's more. Well, they're hard to see. See the colour of the units on them as we get closer. Wow, there's a lot of them. So I was intending to hug the deck all the way down, but let's um, see if I can do it for the next couple of miles. Um, so this is waypoint 7, veering left, staying on the field. Yep. So at the top of each briefing there's a text summary and of course you can scroll down to uh, look at the pictures below. Which is probably best done before you take off because hands uh, and brain gets pretty busy once you fly. Also helps to watch a video like this as you look at the pictures. I'm going to get under these power lines and over that bridge. I hope so. Yep. Uh, right now we're okay. That's the end of the field. We're back onto the mainland, or at least where we started. Our lines everywhere, so. And our next waypoint is a lake over these few hills. Heading west from the lake and it takes us right back to the airport. Check the map. See the lake coming up. Waypoint 8. There 
it is. Looking right. Beautiful countryside. Now heading due west from here takes us right back to the airport and it's not too soon to call the tower actually. Channel 2. Channel 1. Mike into your Golf 4. Solar Tower 007 is 10 miles east, 1,700 feet from Solar to land. So there you go, 10 miles east. Mike into your Golf copy. Make left down with runway 18007. Okay, runway 18, different runway. Just dial that in. Got it. So you want us to land due south as the wind change? Not really, but anyway. So if I climb a bit here, look to the right, you see the town of Solar coming up shortly. Stavanger, I mean, so is the airport. In fact, we'll get a look at it as we approach on my 18. First, I want to find the airport, and so it's right near the ocean. It's dead ahead, 12 o'clock. See the tower now about one o'clock. Okay, so I'll get closer to the airport, then I'll fly upwind towards Stavanger. And come back and land. Not much traffic around at the moment. Okay, about a thousand feet. So we're heading to the south, so heading north now. Flying upward. I can do golf copy. Clear to land runway 18007. So let's have a quick look at the recon cap. There it was a bit low to see much detail, but I'll uh, come back later and have a fly around the city. But for now, let's turn around and land. So, Speed's 2.30. I'll start my turn now, I think. 1,000 feet, and see if we can get down to gear and flap speed. 194. 190. Seventy six. One seven two. One seventy gear down. Flaps one. Flaps two. Okay, let's get the trim sorted out. There we go. A little bit left of track. Like landing over water. On the plus side, there's nothing to bump into if you land short. On the downside, you're going to sink. Okay, so I need quite a bit of left rudder here. I'll 
Let it be quiet for a moment. Get my ducks in a row. Think of a long, strong crosswind. Eh? Don't know why they asked us to land a runway 18. The wind's still coming out of the west, but I uh, guess they had a reason. <laughs> anyway, this, I guess any land you can walk away from is the best I can say about that. So there we go, pining for the fields. Might give you a golf copy. And Look forward to flying it again.